When surfing the internet, the web browser you use can make a huge difference. For some people, faster performance might be the top priority, while others may prefer a browser with better privacy tools or numerous customization options. No matter which camp you fall into, there's a browser for you. In this top five, instead of putting these in order based on popularity, I will count them down based on which browsers we've enjoyed using the most, with ease of use, features included, and overall performance being the most important factors. Let's dive right in. Starting off our countdown at number five is Opera. It's been around since 1995 and has always been on the cutting edge of innovation. Some of its features include built-in messengers, an ad blocker, and a so-called free VPN. For those of you that have watched previous videos on this channel regarding Opera, then you already know that I do not recommend using their VPN. While it may be unlimited, it's more of a proxy service than a real VPN. Only the Opera browser traffic is encrypted, and in my experience, the network speed is very slow. If you don't want Opera as your default browser, be careful when installing. Prior to selecting Install, click on Options. On the next screen, untick the box, make Opera the default browser. After you've done that, click on Install. I can imagine people bypassing these steps because it's not immediately obvious, which is one of the reasons Opera is lower on this list than in previous years. On the start page is the speed dial to access your favorite websites. In the left sidebar, you can easily access Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, along with other sidebar options. Now let's move to the upper right and select the Easy Setup icon. Here you can change the themes. Your choices are light or dark. You can select a new wallpaper for the speed dial. And if you scroll down, you can quickly access other settings, including the option to block ads and trackers. Opera also has its own extensions. To find them, click on the Opera icon in the upper left to bring up the menu. Go down to Extensions and select Get Extensions. Here you'll have access to extensions from the Opera add-on store. A cool extension for Opera I'd recommend installing is called Install Chrome Extensions. When you add it to Opera, you'll have the ability to install extensions from the Chrome Web Store in Opera. In the number four spot is the open source Brave Web Browser, which is based on Chromium. It's great for those of you that value privacy and security as a top priority. They don't store your browsing data on their servers, they block ads and trackers from third parties, and encrypt communications with most websites by offering HTTPS encryption when possible. When you launch Brave, it will show you a history of how many ads and trackers have been blocked, secure encryption upgrades, and the time saved by blocking ads and trackers. On any website, if you click the Brave Shield here at the top, it will show you how many items have been blocked on that site. If you're on a website that's not loading properly, you can toggle the shield off, and you can also choose which features you'd like to enable. As a side note before we move on, they've also introduced a rewards program called Brave Rewards, where users can earn tokens for viewing private ads. In turn, after earning tokens, users can pass along those tokens to the publishers they care about to support their websites. It's in the early stages right now. Time will tell how well it works out. Coming in at number three is the world's most popular browser, Google Chrome. Let's get the cons out of the way first. It's known for being a resource hog that doesn't play nicely on systems with limited RAM. And some people don't appreciate how Google uses their browsing data. Now for the positive. Chrome offers a user-friendly layout with excellent cross-platform support. And if you like add-ons, Chrome still boasts the largest selection of extensions of any web browser. Before we get to the top two, here are some honorable mentions worth checking out. Safari is a competent no-frills browser with iCloud support for Apple platforms only. Newer releases are no longer supported for Windows. The Tor browser is a modified version of Firefox that routes traffic through the Tor network. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Opera GX is a new browser specifically made for gamers from the folks over at Opera. It's still in early access and available for Windows with support for Mac OS coming soon and the newly revamped Microsoft Edge, based on Chromium, is in early development. If you want to try it out, it's available for Windows and Mac. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Firefox from Mozilla. It takes a slight lead over Chrome, 
because it's open source, offers better privacy, while offering most of the same features. Some of those features include cross-platform support, password-free logins, and blocks crypto mining on the sites you visit. A feature I use most often with Firefox is their excellent screenshot tool. To take a screenshot, here at the top, select the horizontal three-dot icon. Then click on Take a Screenshot. You have the option in the upper right-hand corner to save the entire web page or the part that's visible on your screen. If you want to select a region, just left-click and drag your mouse, then let go. You'll be given the choice to copy that region or download it to your computer. Coming in at number one, the absolute best web browser for Windows, Mac, and Linux is Vivaldi. Like I said in the intro, this list is not based on popularity, it's based on which browser we most enjoy using. It takes the top spot due to its perfect balance of both mainstream and unique features and numerous customization options. It has so many features, it would take too much time to name them all. It also respects your privacy and security. Vivaldi does not track you and does not share or sell your information to any third party. One of the co-founders of Opera, which I mentioned earlier in this video, also co-founded Vivaldi. He left Opera prior to its sale to a group of Chinese investors. The Vivaldi browser had its initial release in April of 2016. When you launch Vivaldi, you'll see the familiar speed dial. You can find your bookmarks and downloads in the web panel on the left. There's also a tab for taking notes and you can quickly access your favorite websites from here. To add a website, click the plus sign. Enter the name of the site and hit enter on your keyboard or click the plus. Let's close this out. Since Vivaldi is built on Chromium, extensions can be added by going to the Vivaldi icon in the upper left. Go down to tools and select extensions. Click the menu icon in the upper left and at the bottom of the pane, select open Chrome Web Store. There's also a decent screenshot tool included. While not being as good as the one with Firefox, it's doable. Click the capture page icon at the bottom. You can choose to capture a full page or select a region. And you can choose to save as a PNG, JPEG, or copy it to your clipboard. I think you all can figure this one out from here. So let's exit that. A quick way to access the settings is to go to the settings icon near the bottom of the left pane. Going to themes, there are several to choose from. I'll go with dark. Below that, you can schedule the times for the themes. And scrolling down, you can enable Razor Chroma and Philips Hue theme integration. On the start page, you can change the background color and background image. These are just a few of the changes you can make in Vivaldi. I'll leave the rest for you to discover on your own. Vivaldi has finally released an app on Google Play for Android, and it's now my default mobile browser. Even though it's still in beta, I haven't had any issues. An app for iOS is not available yet, but it's currently in development. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What is your favorite web browser? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our newest top fives and other tech-related stuff here on Techumbo.